Hey guys, so today I thought I'd talk about my favorite routine or skincare products for brightening up skin, dealing with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, pie, things like that. Uh, actually, that's kind of what actually got me into skincare in the first place was I was dealing with some terrible hyperpigmentation, melasma, all over my face. It was bad. It's getting better, but it's still, I still see it, but it's still getting better. It was really, really bad. So I've got a lot of different recommendations. I'm going to start at the top. A good vitamin C serum during your daytime routine will go a long way. Vitamin C is great for brightening skin, helping with collagen production, things like that. So if you can find a great vitamin C serum to use in your morning routine, that will help. I'll get to more in a second. Uh, I've got a few recommendations. The Timeless 20% vitamin C typically is pretty good. They've had some issues with their packaging in the past. I have no idea if they fixed them yet but it's still a good affordable vitamin C product and uh, they've got 20% or 10%, so check those out. Uh, Geek and Gorgeous has a 15% C Glow Serum and I love it. I gave a bottle of it to my friend, so I don't actually even have a bottle with me. Or actually, I gave a bottle each to two of my friends, so that one is wonderful. That is 15% L-Azorbic Acid. And then last but not least, the Dr. Brenner Vitamin C E and Ferulic Serum is also wonderful. This has 20% L-Azorbic Acid in it and well worth checking out. It's, uh, they're all pretty darn affordable. So uh, these are worth checking out. I will link to everything below. Um, okay, so next up, in your morning or evening routine, a good brightening, do-it-all type serum. I've got a few, two recommendations. Uh, first up, the Regimen Lab Level Serum. I've done a review on it and talked about it a lot. It has some nice brightening ingredients. If you can fit this into your morning or evening routine, uh, daily, every other day, whatever works. It will help a lot. So this one's great. The Topicals Faded Serum is also really nice. They added fragrance to it, so I have not uh, checked it since then how strong it is, but they mentioned it was basically to cover the sulfurish scent to it, so hopefully it's not too overpowering. Uh, those are my top two, but I also have had really uh, good luck with the Polish Choice Discoloration Serum, uh, so Tranexamic Acid by Cuchiel in here. So if you can add these into your routine as well, uh, they will go a long way. Okay, next up, a good azelaic acid serum. Uh, to be honest, for me, I really got a long, a long way in terms of brightening up my skin and things like that. And then I added in the Geek and Gorgeous A-Pad, and it just really, it really ex escalated my brightness to the next level. So this stuff is wonderful. I will link to it below. This one actually uses an azelaic acid derivative. Uh, which might be very good for sensitive skin types and maybe a good way to start on azelaic acid. And then next up, this is my repurchase of the Face Theory Lumizela A10 Serum, which contains 10% azelaic acid. And uh, this stuff kind of just helped further my brightness. And azelaic acid is wonderful for brightening skin, redness, sensitivity, breakouts. And the nice thing with azelaic acid is you can really use it with most other actives and it doesn't react. So it's pretty darn friendly. So... Might be nice if you haven't used azelaic acid before to start with the Geek and Gorgeous, finish that, and then move on to this and allow your skin to kind of get acclimated to it. So that is my third tip. My fourth tip for brightening your skin is a good exfoliant, maybe used every other night or uh, depending on what else you use. So I like to alternate mine. So typically with uh, retinoid, I'll use the retinoid one night and the uh, exfoliant the other night. So I've got a couple of them. To recommend the Paula's Choice 10% AHA Advanced Smoothing Treatment is wonderful uh, with exfoliants, specifically AHAs. 10% and up is a good amount to look to. 10% uh, does show uh, helping with fine lines, texture, firmness, and things like that. So it might not be great for starters, but 10% is where you end up wanting to be. So this one is wonderful. Uh, and then next up, I've got a little bit. Uh, uh, nice new product, the Peach and Lily Power Cocktail Lactic Acid. Uh, with exfoliants, HAs are great, uh, BHAs are great. You can't go wrong. Uh, some exfoliants are typically a little bit better, uh, like glycolic acid is one of the most studied ones. It's a good exfoliant. It helps break down uh, discolored cells and helps stimulate new collagen production. So you can't go wrong with either of these, or if you use BHAs, uh, if you have acne-prone skin, nothing wrong with that. Okay, number five. For uh, alternating evening routines, a good retinoid will also help. Retinoids can help with skin cell turnover as well as collagen production, which is what we're all after. So I've got a couple ones that are a little bit stronger. 
Uh, the Geek and Gorgeous A game. This is the five. They also have the A game 10, which is a little bit stronger. This one is a great one. It actually uses, instead of retinol, it uses retinal, which is requires less conversion. So it's a little bit stronger in your skin. But this formula is just so wonderful that I didn't have any dryness, flakiness at all with it. So it's a great stepping stone to maybe get into tretinin or other things like that. So this is wonderful, very affordable as well. And then uh, next up, the Differin Adapalene Gel is another great, stronger retinoid. I mean, obviously, you can start with retinols if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you can work your way up to something a little bit stronger and your skin tolerates it well, uh, absolutely nothing wrong with that. So Differin is great uh, and very affordable and no fragrance and a very short ingredient list, actually. Okay, so if you've done all of those things or are doing all those things in your morning routine, alternating evening routines, things like that, you need to, without a doubt, protect your results and prevent as much as you can further sun damage. Sun damage really is the main culprit for most pigmentation issues. It's not all of it, but for most people with hyperpigmentation, sun is the leading cause of the damage. There's other reasons, but so if you're using all these, you absolutely must use a sunscreen every day, no matter what, uh, unless you're maybe inside all day, you want to protect your results and also uh, some of these exfoliants, retinols, uh, make your skin more sensitive to sun. So a good sunscreen is going to be the key to protect the results that you're looking for and prevent worse things from happening. So I've got a few. Uh, I recommend going with the strongest, best sunscreen you can afford. EB Technology SPF 50 is wonderful. I really love it. It's expensive. Not super easy to get in the U.S., but it is uh, worth a try. Uh, the... La Roche Posay, their new UV Mune sunscreen Shaka version is wonderful and really does a great job. UVA rays are very sneaky. They will damage your skin even on days when it's shady and you don't even realize it that the sun is out still. Um, and then the Altruist or Groom Beauty uh, face sunscreen is another great one that's very strong and really does a great job. And be sure to do these, especially if you're going to be outside. I mean, if you're inside all day, you don't have much windows, you probably don't need it. But, I mean, if you're going to be outside at all, especially using retinoids and things like that, that'll make your skin uh, more prone to damage and more sensitive to the sunlight. So using good sunscreen is the key. But personally, for me, these are what worked. I initially started off just using a dark spot serum. I think it was the Skin Medica Lytera. It helped, but once I add slowly over the course of years, added in these new ingredients, it really helped elevate my results. A good vitamin C serum will go a long way, especially if you don't have terrible hyperpigmentation. A lot of people with just vitamin C will be able to reverse a lot of it, but a good dark spot serum, azelaic acid, exfoliant, retinol, all of these things, and don't add them all in on the same day. Do it slowly if you haven't used a lot of these, but in my opinion, these products, these ingredients are the ones to focus on if you have uh, tough hyperpigmentation, melasma, things like that. So um, tomorrow my video will be on affordable skin brightening products because a lot of these can be pretty darn expensive. A lot of them are pretty affordable, but some of them get kind of pricey. So I've got, uh, I think, nine or ten different very affordable products to help with pigmentation, brightening your skin overall. So be sure to check that out. Check out the links below and leave a comment if there's any uh, thing you've done specifically that has really helped. Sometimes with very, very stubborn Sometimes going to a dermatologist is just the way to go because they have access to other tools, prescription grade products, things like that, which might be what you need if you have very stubborn hyperpigmentation. So um, anyway, so check out uh, the links, leave a comment, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.